You can use any media you like to create your yantra. The colors you're going to need will be red, green, yellow, orange, white, silver, and gold. Okay, so today we are going to paint this yantra. We're going to start off with the outline. So the very fine outline, the outer outline, and it's going to be gold. So generally when I set up painting, I get an assortment of brushes, everything from zero, which is a nice small one, to, what's this one, six, wow. Usually I don't go that high. This is just like a big six. Somewhere between zero and three. Let's see what this one is. This says two. So that's a pretty good, good one for most of the painting. So somewhere between zero and three. And I take a mixing brush. This is a brush that's only going to be used for mixing the initial color. So the first color we're going to use for Ganesha is gold. Gold is going to be the color for the outline. So to make the gold, we're going to mix a little water with it. Just water. So I'm going to pause the time-lapse movie of me painting and show you how to mix each of the colors for this yantra how I like to do it. These are the, the traditional colors. You can always add your own inflections, but the, the basic colors are uh, traditional, so you want to keep them pretty much the same. And then I'll have a little scratch piece of paper next to me, and I'll just kind of test out the colors as we go. Okay, so I'll have a nice little palette here at the end. All right, now, Rinse that out. I just want to get the paint out of the brush. And put it to one side. Then I think I'll use one of my zero. Maybe, maybe I'll be bold and use one of my two brushes. Okay? And just go a little bit. And the, the secret to painting yantras, I'll just do a little test here is to have the arm steady and really not to put too much pressure in the brush, okay? You can always fill in more later. But to get a nice line, the secret is to get a nice point with your brush and then not to press too hard on the paper and then you'll lose your point. So it's all about the point, okay? So, um, You'll see. You, it's not a bad idea to practice on a piece of paper first. All right, now we will go to the painting. Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha. And I'm going to start at the top of the yantra. Generally, we try and start at the top and then work our way around clockwise. So we're spiraling towards the center. Very careful lines. This is a form of worship. So we're not in a hurry to get it done because there'll only be another yantra waiting to be made once we're done with this one. So rinse out your brush in the water and then we're actually going to change this water. Put some clean water in and mix the new color. 
Next color is going to be yellow. Hi, so the second color we're going to mix for your Ganesha Yantra is going to be yellow. There's a thin yellow line. Let's see. So, just in front of the gold, next to the gold, there's a thin yellow line. <clears throat> this line appears in each of the Yantras and in the Ganesha Yantra, it's a, like, a, kind of like a mid yellow. Every yellow is a little bit different. So this is a combination of a deep yellow, a little bit brighter yellow, and maybe even the last yellow. So a mixture lemon yellow. So I have three different yellows here that we're gonna work with. It's basically a mid yellow. And then when you work with gouache paint, it can be good to have a little bit of white. I don't know how much yet, so I might just put some on the edge there and draw from it, okay? So, so far, I have these three yellows, okay? And I'm gonna mix these together. Put some white in. Ah, that's good. Little white. And three different yellows I ended up using here. So it's kind of a rich, deep yellow color. And a little white. The white helps with opacity. So this is my sample piece of paper. So maybe we can just see the color. Okay, so it's not as dark as that original color. But it has some depth to it. All right, so now we're ready to begin. All right, so to make the green, I like these two colors. I like the Viridian green, can be kind of great. And permanent green middle. I think the main color in the Ganesha Yantra is this green. As the name suggests, it's a kind of mid-green, not too, not too light, not too dark. And then sometimes I add just a tiny bit of lemon yellow, just to kind of lift up the color a little bit. So maybe I put a little lemon yellow in. Then I add a little Viridian, just an interesting color quality, a little bluish. And then again, I'm going to add just a little bit of white. If, the, if there's no white, the color is just ends up being too transparent. So I'm going to mix this together, make quite a fluid paint so it flows nicely. This is going to be a vibrant Ganesha green. So the yellow around the edge can be maybe even a little more vibrant than the one I have. It can be a little more lemony, citrusy. So we're gonna aim here for a green that's a little bit vibrant. It's a happy, Ganesh is a happy guy. Keep him vibrant, let's see. So yes, the white in these gouache paints is interesting. A little white makes the color sit flat. 
too much white, then the color looks dull. So, it's looking pretty good. A nice mid green. Sometimes you have to do a little test and then maybe even see what it looks like when it's dry before deciding, before committing to the whole yarn trail. This just looks like it needs more water. Sometimes you just need more water as you're painting for it to be easier to paint, more fluid. All right, so it's a little bit sagey, but I'm gonna go with it. So you might want to use a bigger brush for this large area that's going to be green. You might break out the, let's see what the really bigger brush is here. This is a six. I don't know, the six might be a bit big. The six or a two, two or three. Maybe I'll start with the six and see how I get on. Oftentimes when you paint, it's more about the point. So I might have a big brush. But once I put the paint on, I can get a nice brush, a nice brush point. And then actually it's, it's smaller. See, it's not such a six looking point. So I would say do some experiments on your the piece of paper. So this is drying nicely. So you can get a nice point even with a big brush like this. We're gonna go back into the gold now. Okay, so mixing up the gold. Just add a little water. And then I might go back to my drawing and reinforce the lines of the circles. So let's see, let's see my drawing, hold on. I'm gonna get my compass. And, you know, I don't like to be restricted by the line, so sometimes when I do the green, I go over my circles. So then I have to redraw them. Sometimes you have to redraw lines, and sometimes if they're too dark, I erase some of the dark markings so they don't show through the paint. Okay, so let's just make sure this one's good, the inner one. I'm gonna go over that one. And then I'll widen my compass and redraw the outer one. Just so I know where I'm putting the gold paint. So the next thing is the ring of gold paint. Remember this ring just touches the corners, the other corners. And because there is some green paint underneath, I might end up doing two rings of gold paint. So it really covers nicely. 